Today, how to shoot an astrophotography time lapse like this one. My name is Jared, and I wanted to show you how I shoot astrophotography time lapses. Shooting astrophotography time lapses is very similar to shooting daylight time lapses with just a few caveats. Video making tip always monitor your audio. That way you don't end up like this idiot with awful sound. A time lapse is created by taking a series of photos at a set interval time. That's like taking a picture every second, five seconds, every 30 seconds, or a minute, and then playing that back in video real time. The result is a time compressed video. So the way that I create a time-lapse video is by using Magic Lantern on my Canon DSLR. But you can use any camera that has a built-in intervalometer or an external one that connects to your camera. By selecting intervalometer, pressing the Q button, and then selecting how often to take the photo. Every 5 seconds, 10 seconds, or what. Now the trick to doing this at night is each photo will be a long exposure possibly five to 30 seconds long. The second trip up is focusing, which can be difficult because you can't just look through the lens and see to focus at night. My solution is to use a lens which has a focus distance of infinity. The lens I use for my astrophotography time lapses is the Rokinon 14 millimeter f 2.8 manual lens. This lens works great for me because it has the ability to set focus to infinity. It stops down to f2.8 and is fairly affordable. Once it's dark, I set my camera up to take a test exposure. First thing is to set your camera to manual mode and focus your lens to infinity. Next, I set my camera's ISO and shutter speeds to something around ISO 400 or 800 with a 6 second shutter. I play around with the ISO and shutter speed to get the desired image. Once I have the exposure set, it's time to set up the intervalometer. One tip I've learned to maximize the battery life is to turn off the display on the back of the camera and turn off the image review. After you shoot all the photos for your time lapse, stitch them together to play back each picture as a video frame at whatever frame rate you want. I do this process in Final Cut Pro 10, but there are many ways to do this. Thank you for watching. An ND filter stops some of the light that's coming into your camera, which allows you to shoot with a wider aperture.